All right, today, people, we're going to react to Jax's new video he's just launched, and it is Welcome to Creator Bingo. So without further ado, let's go ahead and watch and react to it. There, all you brave and willing creators to send me your own stuff, your own videos, your own TikToks, whatever. And what I want to do is I want to provide criticism and feedback and tips and advice for your videos. I wanna share what I think works well and what I think could possibly use some work. And to gamify it a little, we have bingo cards. And you'll notice this bingo card has uh, a bunch of brand new spaces, such as a video that made me laugh, aesthetically pleasing, good title, chat predicts. But the whole point, the whole- Okay, so let me look at this bingo card. I think my favorite topic would be editing mistakes, because my videos have a lot of editing mistakes. Uh, great thumbnail. I'm trying to improve my thumbnails. Oscar worthy acting. No, nowhere near. I don't, I've never taken acting classes, so how can I be the best? Uh, video takes ex unexpected turn. Yeah, sometimes I do unexpected things in my videos. Occasionally. I do like to throw a curveball. A solid username or channel name. I think my username is unique. I haven't got anybody in the search engine with the same name as mine, so it probably is unique point of these silly streams one i want to do reaction content the right way the ethical way where everything you're about to watch today was willingly sent in by its creators the other reason oh i see yeah because he was doing react content to sniper wolf and i guess there was no permission so she got butt hurt and tried to kill him so oh uh, yeah i would definitely it's good that he's changed things up i guess for his safety and I want to do this is that I want to turn Jitter Jacks Films as a channel into more of like a workshop and help up and coming creators hone their craft and help them make the best videos that they can. And maybe other creators can learn from it. Who freaking knows? We have our first brave volunteer. This video comes from YouTuber Mate the Potate. And Mate the Potate with 1.79 thousand subscribers. Let's watch it. And this video is Medieval PS1 Mate the Potate. Let's take a look at your thumbnail first. And this is good. It's simple. It's Your thumbnail is very decent. It looks like you just threw it up on the, you know, they used the Canva program and you just took out the background for both. But that's a really bad crop job on the, on the PlayStation game. It's really bad. See how it's like showing the background and all that? But this is first, you know, it's a small channel. What do you expect? Pretty clean. If I were to look at this thumbnail on my phone, it's still pretty clear. Everything stands out. A little bit of a uh, Photoshop uh, already <laughs> happening around the finger and then and this. All in all, <laughs> this is a pretty good thumbnail. I would give this thumbnail a B plus. Although it doesn't like say review or let's talk about it. I kind of get the gist of what this video probably will be just from the thumbnail alone. Not even looking at the title. So let's... Yeah, I can clearly see it's a game review or something like that or a gameplay or something. Yeah, he's going to do a gameplay. Check out this video by Mate the Potato. And you know what? I like that username. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Go ahead and fill in solid username or channel name because Mate the Potate, that rolls off the tongue. Now, you'll notice this video is a bit of a long boy. Are we going to watch the whole thing? No, of course not. But for longer-ish videos, let's see if Mate the Potate can hook us in with that intro. It's me, Ray. Quick question. Do you enjoy playing video games where the main character has both eyes, a jaw, and is alive? I do. To answer your question, who doesn't, right? I really don't. I think it's not really my type of video game, to be honest with you. It's a weird one. But I might play it if I was, like, drunk or high. Yeah. I'm already engaged. Darn. I love that. You're starting the video with a question, which is such a smart move. Like, unironically, I'm not doing a bit. That's such a smart like way to get everyone to like lean in released on the 9th of october 1998 on the playstation i love this. this game was a classic i love this perfect you don't spend too much time you don't spend too much time talking uh at the camera you go right into uh graphics you go right into gameplay you got a little background this little green background if you haven't played very it, very nice I 100 the game stars a night name i agree with him here yeah he gets right into the nitty-gritty and that's what people want to hear they just want to hear you talking about the game right away, you know? So Daniel Fortescue is... A lot of effort, a lot of like little efforts go a long way, right? You're like crafting this review, 
clearly you have a lot to say about this game and your passion shows. So let's go to our bingo cards. I'm gonna give you good pacing because you knew exactly when to cut away from you and go straight into the gameplay. I'm gonna give you sound design because everything's well balanced and you knew when to insert music. You knew how to like put it behind you and it helps with the general pacing of the video. Oh, 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 now people are saying editing goes hard. Let's watch like a few more seconds, maybe a minute or so more of this video to see how hard the editing does or does not go. <gasps> the creator's in the chat. Yeah. Go ahead, Mark. Creator is in the chat on your bingo cards. If Creator is in the chat. That's good. Yeah, I, I usually stay in the chat sometimes too. Just talking to people who like you guys talk, like in the comment section, yeah, in the chat section. If you have it, and apparently chat loves your video, dude, even though it's been two seconds. <gasps> Judas, I don't have chat loves the video, but you might. I genuinely think I've played through this game more times than I've committed murder. There's no proof that it was me. The game opens up and tells you cute. all about the lies and- This is very cute. It's very good, and I would absolutely watch the whole thing. There's no proof it's me with a knife in his hand. That's a nice touch. I like that. Yeah. In my own time. Yeah, I don't have editing goes hard, but you might. Oh, people, you know what? Chat is screaming at me to, to add well-written. It is. You touch upon the uh, the pun of in the title. You have this recurring bit where you're a criminal. So let's go ahead and add well-written. Judas, I don't have- any of these spaces. And you know what? Unexpected turn because of the whole side plot with the bag of bones. Jack loves the video. I do, I do like this video a lot because it's it's moving along at a very good pace and uh, I'm, I'm into it. A little spooky for me, but overall cute. Hey, if you wanna mate the potato, click the link in the description below. I'm- So, so far, Nate the potato, um, I'll give him a subscribe. He's, he's hey, pretty- Nate, it's me, Ray. Yep, gotcha. Like and subscribe, yep. He's a pretty good one so far. Let's listen to some more, though. 98 on the PlayStation. I love an ad well written. I also think it's aesthetically pleasing. I'm very tempted to... Oh, we skipped one. brave, brave volunteer from Snail Evangelist with their... So this is Snail Evangelist with 71 subscribers. Our video, Snaillandia. But you know me, I do like to judge a book by its cover. <laughs> what in the world are we looking at here? So it's a snail with a beard. Snail, beard, bear, gun. It's very confusing. Uh, bear behind the snail. Uh, tree behind the, the snail. And we have... That's probably why he has 71 subscribers. Of like a... We have a PNG file of a, of a rifle here. I'm gonna give this thumbnail a, a B plus. It seems like you're trying to establish your own lore. And that- I, I don't think it's a B plus at all. I think that's more like a D. That is that is really hard to identify, like to figure out what is going on really. That's ambitious. And I think we should applaud that. Shut up. Creator is in the chat. Shut the front door. Mark creator in the chat. And I hope you guys do too. Good use of music, suspenseful. Interesting use of color. Look at the opening is pretty good though. Look at that, everything's in black and white, save for the interior of this log cabin. Interesting choice. Artsy choice. Intriguing choice. Oh, I do like the waving um do you call it is it antennae? An antennae that snails have? Oh, now I understand. Antenna is their eyes. I understand why the snail has a beard. It's a, it's a lumberjack snail. I'm gonna say, uh, <laughs> I already like the music. The music is doing a lot of um, uh, storytelling on its own. I also think it's aesthetically pleasing. I'm very tempted to give you. Um, Jack doesn't know how they did that because I don't know how you animated the little antennae. Like, is that a warping effect? Is that an after effects? I don't know how to do that. You know what? Boom. We're gonna mark that because I don't know how you do that. Gorgeous. It really is telling a story. I do like the animations in this. He's done a good job. And great motion on the axe. Like, the axe has weight. <laughs> Uh-oh. I laughed. I laughed at this. Keep calm and set snail. Oh, that's awesome. Made Jack laugh. Uh, very intrigued to see where this good. is going. That's pretty good. The music is very... You know, the, like, the, 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 the juxtaposition of this, like, classical music pairing with... Kind of a silly animation. It's giving early Ren and Stimpy when they would do exactly that, right? Surviving a bear attack for dummies. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. All right. So me, me thinks we're about to see some conflict. Set up your uh, bingo cards for conflict. Although it's foreshadowing. Oh, look at the 3D. Look at, guys, look at the knife in the Hope poster. Look at the perspective. 
to like simulate oh, yeah. um, 3D. That's awesome. Crazy effects cool, yeah. it is. Yep, I'm loving this. There's there's a lot of passion in this. Do I not have crazy effects? Oh no. And also chat loves. All right. Why does YouTube have the number like crooked? Like, it's uneven. You know, we already know the subscriber count for Sniper Wolf has been fucked with, but Jesus, this is well. YouTube, what next? Alright, so let's go. Chat loves a vid. I'm gonna say I love a vid. Shut uh -oh. the fuck up. I even said, I even said foreshadowing, right? And look at that. Literally says foreshadowing. That's what we call, <laughs> that's what we call Jack for dicks. Uh-oh, is foreshadowing misspelled? Oh no, we might have an editing mistake. All right. If we're going to be a real dick, we can also mark editing mistake because there should be an E between. Oh, yeah. This is grammar error, yeah. It's the R and S in the word foreshadowing. And get, yeah, uh -oh. get, go ahead and do editing goes hard. <laughs> Cause well, honestly, most people look for mistakes these days. So to have some errors in your content is actually a good thing because people would be attracted to trying to, to fix you, to, to, you know, correct it. So I sometimes make some mistakes by purpose. So you like will notice, and you guys still don't fucking notice. And I, god damn it. The editing does go hard. It's giving Paper Mario in the best way. <laughs> okay, we have a we have a big chase scene, a thrilling chase scene, and you're still simulating depth with like the parallax effect with the trees. I love that. I'm on the edge of my seat. You can't just cut to black. That was the worst ending I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I agree. percent stuck the landing. I agree. The bad, the bad ending, but uh, most of it was good. Holy shit. Oh my god. I got a bingo. And it was also very well written. That was such a wondrous um, journey, Snail Evangelist, um, that I'm going to gift uh, 10 subs right now. That was so good. I have to subscribe. Look. So I'll give him a subscribe as well just to help him out because I'm not a POS YouTuber. But... Hi. Could it have been what? better? Yeah, it absolutely could. Oh, look at the the conclusion was perfect and made total sense. <laughs> Please check out Snail Evangelist, uh, link below. Honestly, it's too good for YouTube and those are rare. So let me take all of your cards and uh, clear and scramble them. Alexander, scramble them. Let's try a, a Lego animation. This next creator is JHS13. They animated the Lego mandalorian beautiful thumbnail <laughs> having the uh the mandalorian yeah the thumbnail is perfect apart from it says mando it is kind of covered up i would have moved the actual um lego to the right so that you could read the whole thing but other than that it's, it's spot on character over the uh the text very very nice very nice coloring this like bluish white um color palette i would give this thumbnail i'm thinking a minus Maybe, I don't know, maybe a different color for the Mando text to make it... I don't know. If he moved it to the, to the right, that's an A+. Plus. Stand out a bit more. Like, this stuff is a bit distracting. Like, maybe, like, a if you had, like, a white st stroke around the lettering. But, like, that's, that's nitpicking. All right, here we go. Very good sound design. That's a th Very good animations and sound, yeah. First thing I'll say, right off the bat. I would have liked to have had some sound effects there, but that's okay. Ooh, what? Was that like motion blur? And you had to animate like the whip? Let's really get into this, right? Look at that. There is motion blur. That's a... Now, if it's really his work, this guy's got a lot of talent. Really nice touch. That... A lot of talent. That I missed the first time because it just... Good editing is invisible, by the way. You're going you're gonna to probably hear me say that a bunch of times, but... That's great. Like this looks like live. This feels like live action, and that's impressive as hell. Let us go to our bingo cards. I'm gonna give you good pacing. Sure, it's only 13 seconds, 12. This one is my favorite by far. By the way, it's Mandalorian. This is really good work, by the way. If 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 the creator is what the creator is. Seconds, whatever. Um, but there was um there was a fluidity uh to the movement. I think we have to give you editing goes hard because it does, and I'm also gonna give you crazy effects because of things like. 
like the the camera shake and motion blur when the Mandalorian's firing their 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 pew pew laser. The motion blur makes it aesthetically pleasing. A lot of Lego stop motion looks stiff, and yours does not look like it. It looked a little bit smoother than usual. His frames were for better, for higher. You have camera movement. You had like very realistic looking camera movement in a stop motion short. Oh, it's sound design. Thank you. <gasps> Judas, that, that, that's why. I don't have sound design. Because I'm so not very well versed in the world of stop motion, I'm going to also add Jack doesn't know how they did that. Be <laughs> because I don't know how you did that. Maybe it was post. Maybe in post you, uh, like, you add like camera shake or something. Chat, did you love that vid? Because if you did, we have to mark that. Chat loves this vid. Look at you, JHS13. You're already a Twitch darling here. The chat loves you. Now, people are asking, did I love it? I'm going to say I did love it because of the little, the little touches. So let's go ahead and add Jack loves the video. I don't have it. Of course, uh -oh. I don't have... I don't have that one. Let me um, like this video. Guys, if you want more from JHS13, we've linked... You already know what to do. You know, do you know to give a subscribe? The problem is the subscribe is throwing off everything else. So I'm going to have to just make a new little window here, smash it, and then give him a subscribe. Here we go. Okay. To their video in the description below. Let's see if it's real. Good music or sound design? No, 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 no. Chat loves vid. No, 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 no. no. Free space. Scratch that. Reverse it. Jack doesn't know how they did that. No, 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 no. Jack loves a vid. Congratulations. <laughs> you just won yourself a little creator bingo is what you did. Yeah. Our next brave creator nice. volunteer is nice. Phantom Star. This is Doom 1993. How oh. id defined a genre. Now, this one's a bit on the longer side. This is nearly 12 minutes long. This one has already got my attention with the word doom. Will we watch all of it here on stream? Probably not. When you submit a long video, I don't just want to, you know, poo-poo it and say, eh, too long. Blah, blah. I want to watch, like, the opening minute, couple minutes, whatever, to get a feel for it, to see if it hooks us. How id defined a genre. Now, it's, uh, oh, this is cute. Oh, I like that. It took me a second. Very, very cute. Instead of Nintendo, we have Phantom Star. <laughs> Instead of Nintendo, we have Phantom Star. Because of little touches like that, that's an A plus thumbnail. Now, here's the deal. Even though these details are super cute and, you know, you put a lot of love in these details, I almost would recommend creators don't do things like this because they're impossible to see from this distance, right? And this isn't terribly attention grabbing because it just, to the untrained eye, it just looks like the, the Doom um, cover art. However, you, you put in a little love in your thumbnail soup. Great. Th he did modify the thumbnail slightly and it, it looks all right. It looks nice. It looks all right. It looks good. Thumbnail. There you go. If it was my thumbnail, I would have put my ugly face in it and people would have said, who the hell is that ugly thing? Let's click on this and see who he is. Someone in the chat said, don't say thumbnail soup. Actually, I'm going to say thumbnail soup uh, repeatedly. Beautiful. Very strong start. Mimicking the Capcom logo, you fiend. Uh, I need a game to play. Might I suggest uh, Doom uh, from publisher id? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um... Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So it's very, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a cute little like opening skit almost. It's very Red Letter Media. They also open with like a skit before they dive into a review usually, like half in the bag at least. So we're doing like a fun little little skit, right? There was overwhelming toxicity. But there were some moments where I met some genuinely... That was a real blink and you'll miss it kind of moment, huh? Like that's the thing, this video has like, we'll, we'll be sitting on gameplay footage for a minute and then the creator will throw in something, we'll edit in something as a gag. And I feel like the gags are almost like too quick. It's like, no, 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 Mar The gag was way too quick. I had a hard time processing it. It was going, Shoom! and I was like, okay, I didn't, why is he going who for? Like, what was Charlie going who for? Like, was it because it was a dub, a kill? Ugh. <sighs> Marinate on that. Sit on that. Like, let's appreciate the gag a little. Because there's there's a saying, kill your darlings, right? Kill your darlings means, like, even if you're really attached to, like, say, a joke or a bit or something, if it doesn't help the story or the short or whatever you're making in the long run, you have to get rid of it, hence kill your darling. This is almost the opposite. My suggestion is let – give your jokes 
more room to breathe. That's that's one bit of that's one bit of feedback I would give to you so far. Now uh, I 100% agree with what you just said. Also, we're two minutes into a 12-minute video, and we still haven't gotten into Doom. I'm getting a little antsy here, and if I'm getting antsy, exactly. So if it's a Doom cover, as Mr. Beast would say, do exactly what the cover says or the title says. You can imagine viewers are getting antsy too, right? They want you to talk about the thing. And I'm not just talking about Doom. Like this goes for like any video. If you're advertising something in the video, we're waiting for it, right? It's We got to get to it fairly quickly because YouTube is an oversaturated platform, an oversaturated market. You know, if we're antsy and we're getting a little bored, those related videos on the side are going to... People are going to fucking click off any time, any day. Look mighty attractive and we're going to click away. So just something to think about, right? Go ahead and mark. Here's what I would do differently because I did just kind of, um, uh, I did just go on a tangent. That's another one. I'll give you tangent. What is there to say about doom that already hasn't been said when it came out in December, 1993, you open the doom section with what can be said about doom that hasn't been said already. That's a great intro. I'm not like, I'm not poo pooing that at all, but this could have. This could have been inserted two minutes ago. I don't think we need... Yeah, that should have been the beginning of the video, for sure, 100%. ...need, like, the, the Overwatch stuff, because it doesn't really... I was waiting for a, a... What the fuck has Overwatch got to do with Doom? Yeah. ...segue, and we never got that. The iconic art by Adrian Carmack, John Carmack's brother, and... Yes, very, very good. Yes, yes. I always... I'm a big fan of show, don't tell. So when you mention a person by name, let's see a photo of them. This is all very, very good. Like, all right. Now we're into it. Now we're into the id and... Oh my god, it's freaking Turtles. That brain guy. Doom of it all. Phantom Star, gonna give you a like. I want to thank you so much for sending this in. Okay, we're gonna give him a subscribe because we're not a dick, like I said. But he really does need to work at his beginnings because people do expect the game to at least be the same game. So it doesn't confuse the shit out of people. So, yeah, the beginning part would definitely need to need to get fixed definitely I don't even see this comment here Jake Madwatch he'll be top he's a, the most Casey Tyler Sour Sweetheart yeah so that's that's about it Okay, cool. Get back to it. Because this is a wonderful example of a good video essay that could probably trim some of its fat, especially in the beginning. All right, let's go back to the bingo cards. I will say editing goes hard. Once it gets going, the editing goes hard, and you have, like, some, some gags. So I'm, I will give you... Editing is good. Lighting is good. Sound is good. The issue is the beginning, the opening. Cut that shit out and just put the fucking Doom footage, and it will open up to a really good video, most likely. Editing goes hard for this. Oh, it takes unexpected turn? Um, that's interesting. Because I was not expecting two minutes of Overwatch talk. That's interesting. I'll give you unexpected turn. Oh my gosh. Phantom Star is in the chat? We did it, Joe. Well, guess what? Boom. Here's what I'm looking at. Ready? Vid takes unexpected turn. That's a bingo. He's got a bingo. Let's Here's go. what I would do differently. Pronouns. Free space. Editing goes hard. Pronouns. And made Jack cringe. Congratulations. We have another bingo freaking winner. More creator nice. bingo. This one comes from the creator Bellhop Drew. With every piece of... 972 subscribers. Nearly a thousand subs. You're nearly there. Ten dogs merchandise. Already, my fingers are, <clears throat> excuse me, a clee with excitement. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I smelled that. That smelled so bad. Creators in chat. Oh my God. We haven't even started, and we have the creator in the chat with us. The spirit is in the room with us. <laughs> Let's talk about the thumbnail, because remember, that's what the thumbnail looks like on your cellular telephones. I like Drew, uh, with a nice little um, textured uh, banner there. Look at that. We have some tar a Target exclusive game, uh, and a case. This is a pretty good thumbnail. This is a very, this is a very clean, well-made. 
What it tells me is send me money and gift cards. That's what I'm getting out of it. Thumbnail. You know what, guys? This is an A-plus thumbnail. Great thumbnail. Also, I like the title. We are not going to watch all 25 minutes of this. We're not even going to watch the first 10 minutes of this, right? But we are going to watch some of it. Very nice opening. This oozes uh, production value. This oozes Drew's been around the block. This oozes... Drew is a seasoned professional who knows what they're doing. Unspecified high quality landfill. Hey, there's dogs in here. Remember when Nintendo Dogs was like very Scott the Waz? <laughs> it's giving. I, I, just one more thing. It's giving Scott the Waz. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad thing at all i just I, it was like that was i can hear scott the was saying that in a video i don't i was three the concept for this i like your layout can we talk about your layout Ten dogs. there's a lot of history here there's a lot of detail i dig it here look at that so we got the disney adult stuff here on the left side uh epcot epcot disney mickey <laughs> Got some Earthbound, some Wii U, Bill and Ted. A lot of thought and care went into the background. The concept for this wacky little dog carrying. Very good editing, good pacing already. We're only 17 seconds in. The pacing's pretty solid. Simulator. The video is actually really decent. Yeah, good job. It began all the way back in the late 1990s oh. when Earthbound's dad. Oh, this is so good. This is this is a seasoned YouTuber. They know exactly what they're doing with the. The transition sound effect, the Windows startup sound to match to to to. to I agree. It's all coordinated so well. Place you in that decade. And Shigesato Itoi met up with Pokemon's dad, Tsunekazu Ishihara. With this kind of editing, this guy could take on Hollywood. Watch out for this guy. And went, hey, do you want to make a pet simulation thing for the Nintendo 64 disc Lovely. drive? Lovely. And Ishihara goes, and Jack Film goes, editing goes hard. It's just, it's very whip bam, you know. Kaplow, but it's it's not too much. It's just enough. Just enough, yes, yeah, perfect, yeah. yeah. And you know exactly when to use it, when not to use it, when to back off, when to lean in. I'm gonna give you aesthetically pleasing just for your background. Oh, where's sound design? Because sound design is uh -oh. awesome. <gasps> this guy's about to get a bingo. Dude, it's I don't have sound design. I'm gonna say Jack loves a vid oh, and also good go. pacing. If you want to watch the full 25 minute video, and I think you should, click the link below. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna click that link below on uh, Bellhop Drew, but I'm gonna just highlight the link because if you click it, you can't watch the rest of this video. And that doesn't really work very well, does it? Okay, so here we go. Found him. Give him a sub. Give him a like. And uh, yeah, we'll give him a, some view time as well, some watch time. We link to all of the creators that you'll see here today. This is making me so mad. Nine hundred. 72 yeah, how? subscribers. Well, here's 973. Have and like this. Bellhop Drew, you got a new fan here. Oh my gosh. And sh and look at that. Chat is saying uh, video credit. Look at that. Bellhop Drew is so erm um, epic sauce poggers. They credit the creators just like we do here on Judge of Jack's films, as should we all. No notes, it's perfect. Go ahead and mark well written because it's phenomenal. Oh, chat loves. I, I hope chat loves. I love. We have. A potential bingo. Good title. We did it. Good music. That's Sound gonna be a design. bingo. We did it. Credit the creators. Creators in the chat. We did it. Editing goes hard. That's a bingo. Okay. It's gonna be a double this bingo. Our final submission for the evening for this stream. This one comes from Zolo Tao. Mantis is love. 2022 animated short film. This <laughs> is the thumbnail, and it's kind of perfect. Like. I do like that thumbnail. It's Mantis. It's got the 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 grass. The title was perfect. Great composition. It stands out if you're like looking at it from a distance and it's tiny. Like the 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 text is super readable. I don't want I like to just one. say good thumbnail good, but this is an A plus thumbnail. It's cheesy, but it's cheesy good. This works. This looks more like a poster for a short film. Great thumbnail. Let's watch this uh this video that was willingly submitted by its creator, Zolotal, who I've linked below if you want to watch more of their work. And something tells me uh we just might want to watch more of their work. Chat prediction. Video will have a twist ending where one mantis eats the other's head. Okay, so a couple of people in the chat have predicted this has a bit of a, a, a savage ending, right? Given the nature of uh, praying mantises, manti, whatever. Oh, wow, is that, is that, that's a good animation. 
already it's far too good for YouTube. This does not belong on YouTube. This is a Vimeo. Oh, it does, but he should have like a million subscribers. Vimeo video. This is what they show at um, film festivals. Oh, is this how they fall in love? Is that the meat cute? That's you know, the above? effing meat cute. Adorable. Oh my god, there's more. I thought it was going to end there. We're given a montage? I think chat's right. I do, like... I do think Twitch chat is 1,000% correct in the ending that you predicted. Let's see. Oh, got to watch the end. Amazing. Oh, he cut his head off? Wow. He probably cut his head off. Even though we all saw it coming, it was still... It was still terrifying, and it was still somewhat shocking, especially with, like, the, the tendon snapping. Did you really have to animate the tendon snapping? All right, we have a lot of bingo to play. Made me laugh. Great sound design. Editing mistake. Kidding. <laughs> Great pacing. Chat loves the vid. I loved the vid. Am I not? Damn it, I don't have it. Uh, chat predicts, because you absolutely predicted the shit out of that. Sticks the landing. There you go. Sticks the landing. Thank you. Do I not have sticks the landing? You gotta do vid takes well unexpected written. turn. That montage scene was so well done. At the How end. aesthetically pleasing. Mantis is. I'm gonna say Jack doesn't get joke because I still don't really get the title. Apparently, everyone else in chat does. I do not. It's in goes hard. I, I am gonna say no notes. It's perfect. I can't say Oscar worthy acting, but I will say that was an Oscar worthy short. Let me give you a little thumbs up and a sub. Incredible short. Genuinely too good for YouTube. I just wish I got the title. Uh, so I'm going to give this guy a uh, yeah, subscribe and a like, just to be nice. You know, hopefully people do this to me sometimes, just to... I, I don't know. I can't read people's minds or actions. Okay, so we gave him an, and some watch time, of course. Uh, someone has to have a bingo, right? Chat loves vid. Scratch that. Good pacing. Scratch that. Credit the creators. They fly now? Made Jack laugh. Scratch that. And finally, Jack loves a vid. That's a bingo. That's obviously a bingo. <laughs> hey, bingo babies. We're playing more creator bingo tonight at this time. All right, so that is it. That's my reaction. I thought that was really cool. Was he fair? Yes, he was fair. All right, people. See you next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.